Hello, it's Untitled here back with another video and as you might have noticed on the description of this one this is not my typical PvP content. Over the past few months I've always been approached with the same question regarding my fairly decent wealth and how I acquired it. Now I've reached a point where I feel that I cannot be bothered to get more, hence the video. Although I do make a lot of money from ganking, it has never been my main source of income. My crafting can make between 200 to 300 million profits per month with only two crafters. I don't use any laborers and I don't use any farms. Everything is fairly simple but it has some requirements that I will come to sh shortly. And the idea of this video is to keep it fairly short, so what is it that I do? I craft food, and specifically 0.2 and 0.3 enchanted food, but the same thing can be applied for 0.1 food with fairly decent profits. So let's dive into it. First off, you need to be a cook to make this work, and if you're not, it's fairly easy to level up by crafting low tier food without focus and selling for small losses. Secondly, having some silver will come handy as you will be having open buy orders in the market as well as cooked food in constant sale. As a mere reference, I'm close to max skill on both my characters and my buy orders currently range between 20 to 30 million and I usually had around 50 million worth of food in constant sale on the auction house. If you really want to maximize your profits, you can even run it with more characters than I did, have farms and whatnot, but what the, the way I did it was with pure buy orders. So how is enchanted food made? The ingredients themselves are exactly the same from the fat ones, except of the fish sauces which are made from chopped fish and seaweed and this is actually where the profit comes from buying the ingredients for fish sauces cheap crafting them and then crafting the enchanted fo food with focus and then reselling those on the auction house for a high price and to give you a good example we can cr currently craft 0.2 or blue fish sauces for around 6,000 6, silver each sometimes even cheaper and if we use this to craft 0.2 beef stews with focus, we land on a craft cost of around 33k per stew. This number can fluctuate a little bit depending on your crafting station fees, but it doesn't move too much. And for the past weeks, these stews have been around 100 to 120,000 each, giving us at least 60 to 80k in profits per stew. And with my specs, you can craft around 200 of these per 10k focus, giving us around 1,200 silver per focus spent, which lands around 360 million in profits per month. However, it's important to know that with high specs, it's impossible to only craft this type of food and you have to spread it around different cities and different food types. To put it in numbers, I would say that around 70% of the food is made in Carleon and the rest in Royal City. And because we're crafting different types of food, the, the profit will also vary. So in this case, we made around 60 to 70k in profits, but in a different case, we might be making 45k, 55k, 65k. But all in all, it does not matter because in the end, you will make a lot of profits and that's the end goal. So if you look at the picture that just came up, you can see that the 0.2 Kraken salads, for example, cost around 130k each to craft. You can sell these later on for 230 to up to 250k each. Same thing goes with dead water eel stews and on the omelette side you can see that the sell price is usually a bit lower than the beef stew. So to make this work we need a lot of fish sauces but since we're not gonna sit and fish for hours we're going to set up a bunch of buy orders in the royal cities as mentioned before. With low specs it might be enough to run this in one city but with two crafters with high specs I had to do this in every single one because there's still competition. There's other people trying to get these fishes and you need large quantities. However to understand how what prices to buy these fishes at, you need to understand how much chopped fish each fish yields. These numbers you can find in the description below because there's quite a lot of them. And that's all of it honestly. If you do decide to become a cook, I highly recommend you to have some kind of excel sheet where you can run these numbers quickly. 
and to sum it all up, you use buy orders to, on fishes and seaweed. You craft fish sauces with the ingredients and you use them to craft enchanted food which are then sold for high profits. I also recommend you and whoever else is running the market to reset the prices every now and then. This is something I used to do either by buying up the food or just stop crafting for a day. This way you can maximize your profits even more. And there it is, this is how I made my money. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or even sending me a message on Discord. Hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching and have a great day as always.